G'day guys, and welcome back to another video. So I've come out to this dam in the middle of the bush, never been here before, didn't even know it existed. But as you can see behind me, I've got five nets, all rigged with chicken. Just went to Coles, just grabbed a couple of chicken wings. And uh, it's pretty interesting to see how this dam goes. It's pretty large, you can see. At one end, it's pretty deep, and uh, obviously shallows out at that end. So we'll chuck some nets at each end. So like I said, I've got five. So, uh, looks like we've got plenty of room to cover, but let's get into it and see if we can get a little feed of yabbies. Net one. See how we go. Actually pretty deep. Alright, net two. Alright, so net three. This one will chuck out a little bit further. Oh, but I don't fall in. Look at that. Nice and bloody deep. Right, net number four. Four. Lucky last. So this one's my fifth one. It's only got a short rope on it, so. Alright guys, so that's all five nets out at the moment. So I'm gonna give it a obviously I'll give it a little bit of time, maybe about half an hour, 40 minutes, then we'll do our first pull. So it took me about 15 minutes to chuck in all these nets anyway to set it all up and uh, so they've already been out for a little bit but and it's bloody stinking hot it's about 30 odd degrees and uh, yeah let's go take a break and we'll get back into it in a second <laughs> Let's see what we got. One tiny little bait size yabby. Look at the size of him. Yeet. Alright, so it's time for the second net. Hopefully this one does better than the first one. There we go. Got a few good ones in there. Not a lot. But a couple of little keepers in there. I'll go get in the bucket and we'll chuck them in. All right, so this one was the biggest, uh, the longest one. It was out the deepest, I think. So, let's just pull this in. Oh. Nothing, not a single little yabby. Oh well, back she goes. All right, so this one's out pretty shallow, I believe. So, don't expect a great deal. Oh yeah, oh yes, here we go, look at the size of these ones, there you go, look at the size of this yab, no eggs so that's a good sign, but nice big claws on him, trying to get me, but a few more of these have go right eh, but so what I'm going to do, quickly chuck these back in the bucket and we'll check the other nets, oh, look at this for a sunglasses tan, me bloody little red nose. Tell it's Christmas. I'm a, I'm a little red root off. <laughs> Net number five. Let's see how she goes. Oh yeah, there's a couple of nice ones in there. You're a bit small, mate. This one's a bit small. We can go back. But... Yeah, you're small. Yep. Yep. You guys can stay with me. I only got four keepers out of this one, but no eggs, so in the bucket she goes. Alright, let's see what we got. Wow, one tiny little bait size. Yabby. Look at the size of him. Yeet. Oh well. Might move this one along. Go change up this one up. Just leave this out for a second. And we'll uh, yeah, go pull the other ones out. And I might switch, up, uh, switch them all around and you know, sort of mix it up a little bit. But let's go. Alright. So this one didn't do too good last time I think. I can't remember. But... 
him over. Oh yeah, we got one good one. So I only got the one from this one, no eggs. So in the bucket he goes. So I'm gonna leave this one out as well. I'm gonna relocate the first one and this one, and then we'll, after this pull, we'll do one more round, and then uh, we'll go out and see if we can cook them up. All right. Yabs, but they're about perfect eating size, I guess. But they're about the minimum size I'd keep. Any smaller than that, I'll uh, chuck them back. But there is a couple in there that I'm going to sort through and probably chuck them back anyway because we've got a few nice ones. But a couple more nests to go. Let's do it. All right. So this one was the best one from before, from the first pull. So fingers crossed we get another good one. One tiny one, which will go back, and one that's probably just on, I'd say, minimum size. So, yeah, any smaller, I'd chuck him back. So, the last time, this is the last net, so I'm gonna relocate every single one. I was only gonna re relocate a few, but pulled him over a bit too quick, I think. So, we got. One little one that'll go back. And we got one fella that uh, will go in the bucket. All right, guys, so it's the last pull for the day. So this is the last round, so net number one. Oh, we got one yab. Oh, he's got <laughs> little bastard. He's got eggs on him, so he can go back. But, all right, I'll leave that in and out. We'll go check the others. Literally nothing. All right, net number three. Let's see. Ah, we got one little one and another little one, but He's too small, so we can go back. Second last net. Net four. All right. This last pull for the day is not going too good. We've got this tiny one and this absolutely beast of a one. Look at the size of this fella. Tiny. Oh, well. Last net for the day. This is really shallow, so I don't expect this to do too well. Ooh, flip this straight over anyway. Oh yeah, we got one. Oh, he's a keeper. Ah, the last yab for the day. Probably, yeah, any smaller and he'd go back, but. All right. Let's, uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna round up all the nets and once they're all together, I'm gonna get, tip out this bucket of yabbies and we'll count them all, go through, make sure there's no small ones, recheck them, make sure there's no eggs in, in, on any of them. And uh, if there is any small ones that are, I think are too small, we'll just chuck them straight back. But we'll keep enough for ourselves for a bit of a feed. So we'll do that, then we'll go home and do a bit of a bloody cook up. Guys, so I've come to a much cooler, shadier place. Uh, it's back at another dam, if it's, you can, as you can see behind me. But I know my friends are going to hate me for this, especially my Indian friends. Well, I've got a premix butter chicken here. So what I'm going to do is I've had the yabbies on ice. That's the most humane way I can think of uh, putting them to sleep. So got me jet boil. So once I get that going, we'll uh, yeah we'll, we'll boil the yabbies, then we'll peel them, and then we'll chuck this sauce in the in the pot 
and make it a night. Nice, wait till it starts simmering, and then uh, we should be bloody good to go. Water's all hot, ready to go. Oh, he's already starting to turn red, so it won't be a long process, I don't think. I just don't know if all these are gonna fit in the pot. Once they start to defrost it, yeah, they're gonna fit, sweet. Once they all defrost a little bit, they'll all uh, fit in there nicely. Just get a stick, just give it a bit of a soak around. Maybe I can, yeah, there we go, look at that. Bloody perfect. All right, that's them in the pot. So now we just gotta wait for them to boil and uh, turn red, nice and hot. But then, so what I'm gonna do, is so I'm gonna peel them, then I'll uh, replace the water and get rid of all that bloody grass in there. And and we'll uh, yeah, tip out the water, chuck in the butter chicken sauce, give it a bit of stir around and a bit of a heat up again. And uh, then in the tummy she goes. <laughs> All right, something tells me this is uh, ready to go. So, we'll get this off the heat. I'm just gonna tip out this water, just drain it all. All right. All right, so they're all ready to go. So now I'm just gonna dip them in that cool water there and uh, cool them off a bit. And then uh, we'll get into the peeling. It looks bloody, oh, smells nice already. I bloody love yabbies. But, whew, already getting bloody hungry, so let's do it. All right, so I finished peeling all the tails and uh, we had a little bit of a mishap. I accidentally ate all the claws as I was going along, but that doesn't matter because we've still got about, I don't know, 20 odd tails in there, I'd say. So it's only enough just to, you know, small feed for myself. So what I'm gonna do now Get the jet boil going again. Shuck this back on the heat. Give this a bit of a shake. Oh, they're sizzling, can you hear that? Instant heat. Give them a little bit of a simmer, just a, oh, bit of, bit of shell still in there. All right, now I'm just gonna chick, tip in me butter chicken. Anyway, so I'm just gonna let that sit for a couple of minutes and uh, yeah, then we'll dig in and I'm pretty bloody keen to see how it goes. All right. All right, so. All right, here we go. So just tip this in the bowl. Enough for just myself, since, you know, I'm the only one out here anyway, but. Bloody look at that. Get that in there. Cheers guys. Whoa. Holy crap. That's actually not bad, eh? Oh, -hoo. bloody oaf. I'm gonna learn how to make butter chicken from scratch because if that's that good, imagine how good it's gonna be from scratch. But next time I'm, I'm going to come out and I'll get a much bigger feed, maybe feed about four or five people. And uh, we'll make a big batch of that. Holy crap, that's actually so good. Ooh, so glad I tried that. Well, I'm going to kick back and eat this. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you've got any ideas, uh, drop them in the comments. If anybody's got a butter chicken recipe, drop it in the comments so I can uh, suss it out and give it a go. Because I've got no idea how to cook butter chicken. But... Thanks guys for so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you want. You don't have to, but it always helps. Leave a comment down below. But for now, I'll see you guys in the next adventure. Cheers.